I hate long-winded videos, so this is going to be short. This is Whiskey Alpha 6, Romeo Sierra Victor, Pablo Luan in Glendora, California. And my challenge and my project was to uh, connect this very old uh, NTE rotor uh, controller to the computer so that I can drive it from the computer uh, and... Uh, drive the computer remotely from inside of my house, which is away from the shack. Now, my antenna is a very small Cushcraft HF beam uh, MA5B, and I've had that antenna for many years. That rotor is plenty enough. And uh, so the first thing you got to do, oh, by the way, the whole project will cost you exactly $60.34 plus any old parts for the brackets that you may have, plus shipping and applicable tax. No, I'm not going to sell you anything. I'm going to show you where to go get it. And you go to, first of all, go to YouTube and go to this video. And that video right there, getting started with a tick stepper motor controller from Palulu at Palulu Robotics and Electronics. And that'll explain everything, how to connect it to your computer and to the motor, which is the first thing you want to do. And then you got to buy the following parts. Of course, you can do your own research, but I'm just going to show you what you got to buy right there. Uh, that's right there with all the prices and uh, don't buy the uh, uh, multi-hub wheels I needed that for something else these two wheels you don't have to buy but everything else the uh, tick a25 USB controller the uh, aluminum bracket the stepper motor this one works fantastic and the uh, uh, Palulu universal aluminum mountain mounting uh, hub for the five millimeter shaft so you got all the numbers right there part numbers and everything else that you need so the next thing you do <clears throat> is you somehow and you'll be able you see that i've uh, done a very uh, primitive yet effective like spock would say uh, uh job at uh building a little bracket here which is really not attached anywhere and uh, this bracket that holds the motor and the motor is sitting on uh, this other bracket that uh, is attached to the knob physically with a hose clamp and that's it that's the whole shebang there's the electronics right there and uh, connected uh, with a U oh the USB cable very important that you make sure that it's a mini USB to USB make sure that it carries data I recommend, like I did later on, that you buy that cable directly from Palulu because they have the correct cable. Otherwise, uh, it's going to give you a headache. So, how does it work? Well, once you connect the whole thing, uh, and uh, the f I'm going to res resume here, uh, you got positions here. You got a slider with different positions. Uh, what you do is that uh, you calibrate the stops to a heading and the other stop to the other end of the knob. <clears throat> in other words, go from one stop to the other, write down what the numbers are, and then when you move it, there you go. So you say, well, how does that tell me what headings uh, I have to go to? In this case, the heading was south. Uh, but if I want to go to, uh, uh, let's say, um, I want to go to uh, east, that would be uh, 600. So you input 600 here. set target position it sets, sets it to position 600 on the motor and there you go now it's heading east okay it's simple as that if I want to go to northeast I set it to or I can use a slider uh, I set it to 800. Set target position. Goes to 800.
And sure enough, it goes to the northeast. Now, a couple of caveats. Once you're done and the antenna stopped moving, go ahead and de-energize this, okay? So that means that no high power, high amperage is gonna go to the motor. So it's not gonna overheat, even though uh, you're gonna limit the uh, amp, amps going to the motor anyway. And you're gonna go to this tab right here, the input and motor settings, go to the current limit. And uh, since I have three amps, I could have gone to three amps, but don't do that use the minimum amperage necessary for that knob to move so when it moves when the uh, motor moves it's not going to overheat or even get warm i on the step mode i use one eighth of a step which is uh, slow enough for me uh for the system to work so once i do that and uh, i like it uh then uh, i can go ahead and operate and I uh, get all the stations that I want, especially 20 meters. It's been very active of 1 or 2 in the morning. I've been uh, uh, logging QSOs with uh, Indonesia and uh, all the uh, South uh, Pacific Islands. Anyway, <clears throat> that's pretty much it. That's the whole system. Uh, very simple to do. I'm not very, as you can see, I'm not very mechanically inclined, but I'm not going to spend $3,000 to get a new rotor and uh, or whatever it is. Well, actually, it would have been that much because I have to uh, get somebody to remove the antenna and do it. I'm, I'm getting old and I can't do it myself. So, 73 WA6 RSV. I hope this uh, helps you a little bit. Bye.